Hello everyone, Ion here, and today we have a pretty short and simple video. With the onset of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, people are wondering if Mega Evolutions will be making an appearance in these games, and recently a marketing campaign for the upcoming remakes was revealed. This campaign features some Pokemon relevant to the Sinnoh games such as Darkrai, Cresselia, and Piplup, but surprisingly we're going to get to see figures of Mega Charizard X and Mega Lucario. Now this doesn't guarantee anything, but I think it would be cool if Megas made a return. That got me thinking about how, in Pokemon XY, we never got to see Ash get a Mega Pokemon unfortunately, and even though Ash Greninja was a nice compensation, I really hope we can see Ash utilize Mega Evolution someday, and what better time than the present to do so. I think Pokemon Journeys could be the perfect time to give Ash a Mega Evolution, and since he already has an arsenal of Mega Evolution capable Pokemon, I wanted to take today to go through all of those. So let's get started. Now, Ash's Bulbasaur shows no signs of evolving because he doesn't want to, and frankly nobody else wants him to either, but if one day it became a Venusaur, it can Mega Evolve. Similarly, if Ash brings back his Squirtle and it evolves, which shouldn't happen, it would have the ability to Mega Evolve as well. Now, Charizard is a big one. I don't expect it to return, but if it does, it has the ability to Mega Evolve into either Mega Charizard X or Mega Charizard Y. That could make for a cool episode in Pokemon Journeys. Which form would you guys like Ash to have? At this point, I don't see a reality where Ash's Pidgeot will return, even though it's literally right outside of Pallet Town, but I love its Mega form, so it would be cool to see Ash have one. Next up is Heracross, and honestly, if anyone is going to have a Mega Heracross in the series, it's probably Go, not going to lie since he caught one recently, but Ash's Heracross is there, so it's definitely a possibility. Sceptile. Now, I really hoped for this in X and Y, but if they can fulfill my dream of Ash having a Mega Sceptile in Journeys, I'll be satisfied. Glalie carried Ash through the Hoenn League, and then, for no reason, he got shafted during the Battle Frontier. Even though he briefly appeared before the Sinnoh League, we never actually got to see Ash use it, so if anything, Glalie deserves to get his Mega Evolution chances realized in this series. Surprisingly, the only Pokemon Ash caught in Sinnoh that has the potential to Mega Evolve is Gibble, if it evolved. I've been asking for Gibble to return and evolve into Gabite and then Garchomp for ages at this point. Please, 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 Pokemon Journeys, bring Gibble back and evolve him so he can have the chance to become a Mega Garchomp. In Pokemon Journeys, Ash has two Mega Evolution capable Pokemon, the first being Gengar. Gengar probably won't Mega Evolve in this series, but I really like Mega Gengar and I'd personally love to see it. Now considering I've made a few videos on this topic already, I actually think that Ash's Lucario is going to Mega Evolve in this series. It seems like they're going to start putting Karina back into the Pokemon anime soon, and what better way to train up Ash's Lucario than give him a Mega Lucario? I really hope this happens, it's gotta. He's got Gigantamax Pikachu already, add a Mega Evolution on top of that, and he'd be unstoppable. Speaking of Gigantamax though, you read the title, I'm also going to go through the Pokemon that Ash owns that have the ability to Gigantamax. Now believe it or not, he doesn't have as many Gigantamax capable Pokemon, but since this series is at the very least tied to Sword and Shield, I expect there to be more G-Max opportunities. We've already seen Ash's Pikachu use Gigantamax in episode 13, and obviously Leon gave Ash a Dynamax band anyway, so let's look at the rest of Ash's Pokemon that have the ability to Gigantamax. It would be a major curveball if Pokemon Journeys brought the return of Ash's Butterfree, but if it did end up returning, I see no other reason than for it to end up Gigantamaxing. It deserves some time in the spotlight. Much like the Megas, Bulbasaur and Squirtle will never evolve, but if they did in this series for some odd reason, then maybe they could Gigantamax. There is approximately a negative 0% chance that Ash's Charizard would end up Gigantamaxing in this series though, because they wouldn't want to take the focus from Leon's. Kingler, yeah, one of the more forgettable G-Max forms, but I think it's pretty funny and it would fit perfectly for Ash's Kingler. Maybe, just maybe, Ash's Lapras can return. We haven't seen it since Johto, which was a very heartwarming episode, and maybe it's traveled so far across the ocean with its family that it would appear in Vermilion City and join up with Ash again. And then it could Gigantamax in Galar. Now, Snorlax would be a great Pokemon to return in Gigantamax. We've already seen one in Galar, and maybe Ash could be inspired to visit and re-add his Snorlax onto his team in this series and use it in a Gigantamax battle. And last but not least, Gengar can Gigantamax. So this is one of the more likely Pokemon for Ash to G-Max since he uses it on his current team anyway. Also, I didn't put it in the title, but as an added bonus, here are all of the Ash Ketchum Pokemon that have the ability to use an exclusive Z move. Spoiler alert, we've seen two of them in the anime already. The most notable one is obviously Pikachu's Z move 10 million volt Thunderbolt, which he used against Ultra Lusamine, Jesse's Mimikyu, and obviously against Kakui in the Alola League. But all Pikachu have the ability to use the move Catastropica, so that's on the table. As we all know, Ash's Lycanroc can use the Z move Splintered Storm Shards, which he received from Nanu after beating that Grand Trial. That was a nice Nice reward for a great development arc for Lycanroc. I'm a bit sad we never got to see it, but maybe they can show Ash receiving an Incinium Z from Professor Kakui, which would hopefully give us a chance to 
pussy ass using malicious mood salt with his incineroar. And then finally we have Snorlax. Ash's Snorlax can use pulverizing pancake if he got access to that specific Z crystal. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. It was shorter than usual since I'm on vacation right now, but expect another epic video next week. I'll see you guys very soon.